An AI called Endel or Endel has just signed to a major label. There's two things that I want to do for this video. One is tell you what Endel is and kind of go into what the thing is because it's an AI, that's a bit vague. And I also want to kind of talk about the ramifications of it signing to a major label. It signed a distribution deal. Well, the company behind it has signed a distribution deal. So that's a little bit interesting. That's more interesting than the app itself because loads of stuff like this is going to start coming up as technology progresses. So actually talking about that is more interesting, but I'm going to go into what it is first. Okay, so Endel promotes itself as an app that basically creates music and soundscapes to help you relax or work. So we've seen stuff like this before. There's loads of like playlists on Spotify and Apple Music that have stuff like this, but generally it's created by people. They will write little piano pieces and have synth pads kind of rise in and out. And it's just a nice relaxing experience. And these guys in Berlin have just taken that a little step further by having an algorithm do that. They, they've got an algorithm that physically creates the music. So they're obviously using MIDI instruments and pads and feeding MIDI notes to it from an algorithm that's kind of working out scales and stuff, I imagine. I have the app, so I'm gonna show you that first. So the first screen that it shows you just says, welcome to Endel, Endel, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Endel creates a perfect sound environment for work or relaxation. Our algorithm works best when it's tailored to you. Take a moment to personalize Endel. Okay, so we'll continue. Relax mode. Uh, relax is designed to induce a feeling of comfort or safety. Please allow Endel to access your location and time zone in order to personalize this mode. Uh, I'm just gonna skip that because I'm only gonna use it right this second, unless I continue to use it, in which case I'll enable that. Focus mode. Okay, there's also a thing where it'll, it can be allowed to monitor your heart rate, so it's clever. So I guess it is using AI in other aspects as well in terms of it's working out what situation you are currently in and tailoring stuff for it. There's also a sleep mode which generates white noise and shit to make you calm, uh, whatever. Okay, so I'm I'm in and this is what it's currently showing me. Um, I'll show it to you, Joe, which is fuck all. Mm. Um, so there's F, G and S. S will be sleep, F will be focus, G. I don't know what G will be. Um, then there's a picture of a house with an R in it. Don't know. There's also a play button. I'm gonna hit the play button. Okay, so I'm gonna click F, which is focus mode, and then hit play again. Okay, this seems a little bit more, like right, there's more stuff going on. Okay, I'm going to click G. I like the visuals, the visuals are nice. It's like... Mm. Let me change for each one. G may be like on the go or something because there's loads of arrows. What's the icon? Yeah. So it might be like, I don't know, if you're, if you're taking a nice peaceful walk or something. So it's not, it's not specifically for focus and it's not for relaxation. It's to like clear the mind maybe or something. And then S for sleep. So I've just noticed I can click between these and it keeps going. So it like blends the two. No, so what happens is it doesn't need to stop because it's feeding instruments with MIDI, presumably. So it can just let them tail off while the what you've just selected comes in. Mm. Okay, so that's sleep. So we've got some white noise. I'll click R. And then the pads have started to come in. The white noise is leaving. And now we're fully into that. Okay, that's really, really cool. Quite simple, I was expecting it to be more complex than it is. But yeah, really cool. Okay, My hope on. is that they haven't just got like, they haven't just recorded a hundred different like progressions or whatever and then, and then uh, just coded them in. Repeat them on. They could. Um, it will probably actually do the job, even by doing that. Yeah, no, because it's, it's cooler if they haven't. Yeah, that's true. Well, it says al algorithmically based, so I, I would assume that that's yeah. not the case. 
So that, that company, have used that specific algorithmically based program to generate albums. There's four albums, I believe, currently. I'll get them up. So if you go onto Spotify, they're, they're, it's an artist. It's called Endel. Um, only currently got 3,000 monthly listeners, which isn't too many. Most of the songs have like a thousand or under listens, but they have four albums, five albums. So they've got Sleep, Clear Night, Sleep, Cloudy Afternoon, Sleep, Cloudy Night, Sleep, Foggy Morning, and Sleep, Rainy Night. So obviously all of those are based on when you click the sleep thing, as we did earlier, not the other three. I imagine they'll release albums with the other three. I imagine that's what Warner Music Group are gonna be distributing. So that's why we kind of come to the part two of this. That, that company, that artist has just signed to Warner for a distribution deal, which is super interesting because I think this is probably the first ever artist that's not even human to be signed apart from maybe that Japanese anime artist, but I think there's real people behind it. It's not algorithmically created, whereas this is. Would you not think that the tracks that they end up distributing will be humanly created? Because say if they're making a 10 track album, right? Are they not going to want to ensure that every track on that 10 track album is cohesive and good, which you can't technically guarantee when you just let the app roll? Maybe, but also maybe they'll just let it roll for 45 minutes and then split it into like three minute sections and have it fade between each bit. I don't know. You could listen to each album and see exactly what it, what it mm. does, but I don't know. However, when you just mentioned that this is the first AI to be signed, yeah, I don't, I don't know, it just seems to me like, yes, while the music may be procedurally generated, but it's not like it's, it's not like it's a robot that's signing to a record label, it is people. Yeah, it's a company that's signing to a record label, really. Mm. But the company themselves, the people aren't creating the music. They have a program that creates the music for them. Lazy motherfuckers. Um, so with this comes a few interesting things. Number one, if it's just online distribution, I don't see why they've signed any kind of deal because you can distribute your stuff online for free or close to free without being tied to a major label deal. If it's gonna be like physical sales, I kind of get that. If they're gonna do a massive CD and vinyl run, you know, in many countries, kind of get that. I don't know, I don't think any information on that side of stuff has actually been released, but super interesting. I believe, and I'm a cynical person, as you, you are. all know, I believe that the, 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 the headline, if you like, which is AI music, Oh, it's signs to Warner Music. Sorry for the clickbait. Is just for press, just for the headline, I feel. I feel they've done it because they know that signing to Warner Music Group will attract attention. Yeah, maybe. And it's kind of interesting that if they... The amount of press that they will get out of this is probably enough to justify signing in the first place because their app's probably got way more downloads than it ever would have had. The albums, I was gonna say the albums have probably got more listens than they ever would have had, but they've not actually got that many listens. But if you were gonna to listen to anything created by Endel, you would use the app, not listen to the albums, because the app will just run forever and you can click the different things to go to different kind of soundscapes. And it's not structured as an album that will repeat after 45 minutes or an hour or whatever. It is as it's meant to be. So. In a way, they've kind of shot themselves in the foot and they've obviously now got to focus on creating albums for Warner Music Group when really they could just focus on the app because that's where the good idea is. That is actually the procedurally generated constant thing that will evolve with the four different buttons. Or maybe whatever they release through Warner Music Group will act as marketing for the app and then Warner Music may get some kind of percentage from any like Maybe. memberships that come. But then again, you mentioned that it's a free app. It is a free app. I imagine there's gonna be advertising in it at some point. Mm. I don't think there currently is. Maybe it'll go paid. Maybe they're trialing out the albums or whatever it is that they're gonna release. And if they do semi well, Warner might offer to buy the company as a whole. That's not uncommon. Amazon and Google and other massive companies do that all the time, where they will either trial working with a company to see whether or not they are legit or whatever, and then within a year buy it out and then incorporate it into their own little thing. Companies do that all the time, so that may happen too. There's a lot that we can speculate here and kind of we can speculate a lot about where the industry is going because more and more we can see that humans aren't as necessary in the writing process of music as 
maybe everyone thought that we might be. There's a few little things here. Uh, if I can get footage of it, I'll show it here. There was a Google Doodle the other day that was about Bach, and the idea was you could put in a little melody, and they would backify the melody and do a four-part harmony how Bach would have written it. There's been some people online that have kind of analyzed that and gone, well, Bach wouldn't have done that because that's totally not right and whatever. But it's a start. It's the idea of you give an algorithm a bit of information and it can make it into the rest of the information. Uh, like the Logic, the Logic Pro 10 uh, drummer software, you can just give it kind of a feeling and what drums you want it to hit and it will create a beat. Granted, it's probably just pulling from as Joe said earlier, kind of a, a, an amount of pre-done beats and it's just generating them depending on the setting that you put, but we're getting closer and closer and closer to kind of a neural network being able to work out what it needs to do anyway. So we are gonna end up at a point where music made by algorithms and AI is indistinguishable from music made by humans. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, we're getting to the argument here, don't we, as to whether human nature and all that comes with it is necessary to create things in their most natural form. Mm. Like, some people will argue that, oh, robots can do it better because robots can calculate a million and one things and they can calculate what a listener wants exactly and tailor mm. their music to that. But then some people will argue that humans are needed for music because music is a human thing and it's an expression of the self and if there's no self to express then it's hollow yep the issue is you can always fake it because any album that you listen to is no there's no guarantee that real people played on it anyway yeah. but everything that like because music isn't completely random it fits some form of formula generally with western harmony it it's 12 notes and an assortment of them generally most music is written in 4/4 four, four. if it's not in 4/4 four, four, it's in 3/4 four, or 6/8 like 99% of all western music fits that so already we've set ourselves up to tell a computer that and instantly it can do the basic things itself so other than it creating its own voice and being able to sing, which I will imagine we're actually closer to than you think, it's not inconceivable for an algorithm to be able to create a piece of music with what is perceived as being human feeling. Because we associate algorithms and things with being able to create everything's perfect on the beat and it's all a bit too clinical, but all we have to do is teach it how to not do that. The, to bring up the drummer in Logic Pro 10 as, again, you can add swing, you can add a push and pull to, to the snare hits because that's what humans do. All you have to do is teach an algorithm that's playing piano that you don't have to play all the notes exactly on the beat. You can actually roll from the lowest note to the highest note in like milliseconds of each other. So instead of blah, it's blah. That's not too hard to teach and it's not too hard for an algorithm to replicate once it knows that it needs to do it. So I think an algorithm at some point very soon will be able to fake the idea of being human created. Whether or not that's just misleading or whether it's fine is down to the individual and how they feel about it. I think I'm fine with it. But at the same time, you don't have the connection to the artist like you would a lot of artists. But some people don't listen to music with the connection to the artist anyway. So, don't know. I don't agree with it. Because I think it is, it's one step closer to Terminator 2, and I don't want that to happen. Yeah. I, I, I would love the idea of this sleep relaxation app to, like, start causing a war. Well, what if it can, like, fucking read your dreams or something? It, it can't. You don't know that. There's, there's, you get apps that <laughs> measure, like, what level of sleep you're in and what dream content you might be... That's probably just down to it measuring your heartbeat and breathing patterns, though. Then again, it could all be bullshit. It could all be bullshit. This app could be bullshit, for it, all we know. It could. We could have just listened to some tracks that someone's made. Either way, I would like to know what you feel about it, because this is something that's... This is the beginning of what might be, like, forever into music. It might get to a point in two years' time where there's human-made music and algorithm-based music, and that's just going to be music forever from that point on where there's constantly this, this two halves of the music industry. Maybe, I don't know.
So please tell us what you think about this. Do you think that it's a good thing that algorithms are gonna start making music or already have started making music and have already got signed to a major label? Do you not care? Do you think that the fact that you can separate the two is enough to justify both existing because it doesn't matter? I would like to know what your opinion is. If you'd like to see more videos from this series, click on that side of the screen. And if you'd like to see our best of playlist, click on that side of the screen. Aside from the musical side of stuff, if you do genuinely just want a, a thing to listen to to go to sleep, if you struggle with anything to do with sleeping and it's not just major insomnia, go see a doctor if it is, then this app is probably gonna be really good. So it actually has physical benefits. So maybe try it out. Tell me what you think. Thank you. See you next week.